Hey guys, welcome to another video. I wanted to show you my cracky bok choy. All right, check these out. I have these nice uh, like 20 gallon containers and I planted some bok choy. Now, on different videos, they said to space them apart, but you know what, you actually don't have to. Okay, so what I did was I planted a whole bunch of seedlings to see what would sprout and what wouldn't. And you know what, they all actually ended up sprouting. So I just left them. And as you can see, so you don't really need to space them out. Look at this beautiful bok choy. Um, this is actually the second harvest. I've already plucked an entire harvest out of this and they grew back in like three days. And so this is really, really awesome. And let's go down here and I'll show you the roots. Okay, so here is a bin full of master blend solution and I've showed it to you in all my other videos. And look at these nice little roots. Okay, the upper part of the root here is where the plant actually sucks up oxygen and then the bottom part of the root is where the plant sucks up all the water so once the water level starts to go down if you're ever going to fill this back up you can't fill it more than halfway because you want to keep these air roots sucking air and you want to keep the water roots sucking the liquid plant food with this amount of water these plants are growing in the shade i probably shouldn't need to change this water like i would on like tomatoes or cucumbers which suck up a lot of water so basically to harvest these really really easy all you do is you come over here and you look at each plant and you know these nice big leaves you just you know or you can get scissors but you can just take them out like this okay you take out the big leaves just like that and you leave the little leaves and these things are like insane they'll come back in like four days so you just keep getting bok choy after bok choy after bok choy um, now when these bolt meaning that this stem comes out with flowers so that's gonna seed I actually rip that off and throw it away because I want to keep uh, I want to keep the plant from bolting and I want to keep having a nice couple of more harvests of this nice bok choy so we can eat them so guys the crat key method easiest way to grow things hydroponically you don't need a bubbler you don't really need much except a few bins um, some nice weather and we're actually under a little roof over here and these are not in the Sun directly and they're in the shade and they love it okay uh, I'm gonna do a separate video about these peppers over here they're loving it even more all right Go away. Yeah. all right guys thank you very much for checking out this video I'm gonna go cook up this bok choy uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell every time I upload a new video if you hit the little bell you will get a notification of my new videos alright if you have any questions any comments you want to share your own tips on growing hydroponically please put them in the comments below thanks guys see you in the next video